on the shore with his grandchildren, fishing pole in hand. There's nowhere 69-year-old Bob Van Heusen would rather be. Papa, reel in. Twelve years ago, Bob was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. As the disease progressed, his symptoms did too. Bob and his wife Carol even stopped traveling because of the disease. To relieve symptoms, Bob would take a pill called levodopa every few hours just to be able to walk and talk. We would have a, a spike where I feel pretty good, and all of a sudden I'd fall off that cliff, and it would be not so good. Very suddenly, the medicine would stop handling the symptoms. About a year ago, Bob enrolled in a trial at Cleveland Clinic to test a new, more consistent way to deliver a gel form of the same medication he was already using. A tube is inserted to the stomach, but the tube ends in the small intestines where the medications and also the, our food nutrients are absorbed anyways, um, so that the levodopa liquid gel is pumped continuously from an outside source. Carol loads the pump with a new cartridge of gel every morning, and it's not long before Bob can walk and even run. The pump supplies a more steady flow of medicine so he doesn't experience a roller coaster of symptoms during the day. We can predict better how I'm going to feel and how I'm going to act, so we can plan. Worn around his neck in a special harness, Bob affectionately calls the three and a half pound pump thorn, as in a thorn in his side. Sometimes there's a hindrance just because the pump's in the way. It isn't a miracle. It isn't that he has no symptoms. But certainly, my goodness, I know that our quality of life is better. The pump is not a cure for Parkinson's disease and doesn't stop the progression, but helps manage the symptoms in a more effective way. The Van Heusens hope their participation in the trial will help others looking to be active again. The most common side effect is stomach pain, and the pump is still considered experimental, so it's not available for general use. But it is expected to be submitted to the FDA in the near future for approval. With Everyday Health, I'm Stephanie Sai.